All right, welcome back to another curriculum integration tip of the week. Uh, really excited about this one. Uh, this here is something that we talked a little bit about with Tech Rabbi. I don't know if y'all remember that a couple years back. You know, all these virtual trainings we were doing, uh, you know, long time ago. But this was, uh, you know, kind of we were at home and we did our summit. Uh, it was a little different back then. But this one I'm really excited about is is talks about creativity. And I don't know if you've been following me on Twitter and kind of seeing some things I talked about this summer a lot was creativity and how it can help uh, increase uh, you know the learning in your classroom and, and when you create those learning experiences for your students. Uh, and what the thing sometimes people have trouble with is coming up with those particular lessons to help boost that creativity. You feel that, ah, you know, I just, I can't do that or that's something that, you know, it's gonna take a lot of work to put together and try to think of. Well, we're gonna re revisit real quick the Adobe Education Exchange. So what I really like about the Adobe Education Exchange is that they have all kinds of lessons that are available for you that you can use in your subject area. Uh, so, you know, giving those students the opportunity to demonstrate what they know and the learning uh, based on what it is that you taught during that learning experience uh, in their creative ways really helps make that learning stick. And that's something that we really want to do in our classrooms is help make that learning stick. So let's jump on in to that Adobe Creative Exchange. And so as you can see here, uh, this is a really easy and simple laid out free lessons by the way 100 percent free lessons by the way that you can utilize in your classroom now one of the things that i really like about this here in the district we have programs like adobe spark we video uh you know all those different things to create videos and infographics that your students can use in the classroom google all the google uh, google draw google slides google docs all these things that students can already use and you can use that are available for free here inside of Robinson ISD. So let's take a look, go ahead and dive on in here and check out the Adobe Creative, uh, Adobe Education Exchange. Now, the one thing I do not want you to, you know, kind of get, you know, and push aside a little bit is that it doesn't exactly say reading, math, science, social studies, like right off the bat, right when you walk, when you walk in there, but if you'll click down off in here, that's where you will see some of the things that are uh, labeled as core content type areas. So the first thing we're gonna dive into is this STEM area because I really like the, the, like the hands-on projects and stuff that they have with the science, technology, engineering, and math. So, but you'll, you'll see that here in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna dive into that and let's get a closer look at this. Now, one of my favorites right off the bat here is the illustrate a cell diagram as a map. Once again, it, the lesson's already there. It's already there and for you. Now, if I want to dive a little deeper, say over here on the right in my subjects, these little drop down arrows that I have available to me, if I click on that, you'll see dance, film, music, theater. But what I want you to look at here too is the humanities. So when I click on humanities, as you can see, there's my history, language arts, see, ah, see? See, now I'm able to dive in here and look at and see all the different content areas that are available for my particular area. If I go into, there's mathematics right there. And then there's, of course, science, biology, chemistry, earth science. These are lessons that are already available for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this illustrating a cell map. So I wanna look here, as you'll see, inside of the education level part, nine through 12th or six through eight. But I'm gonna tell you now, um, it's okay that they don't know how to use Adobe Illustrator because that's not something that they have to do. So Adobe Illustrator, basically what it is and what it does, it is a way for you to create graphics. So we have something that does that. It's called Adobe Spark. So it's not necessarily 100% Adobe Illustrator, but you also have Google Draw, you also have Google Slides, but basically they're wanting you, your students to create something graphical about illustrating a cell and then diagram as a map. And then when I come over here to get this free resource, I can download it to my device or to my Google Drive, whichever one's available. Or if I click on see all four pieces that are included, I click on it, here is the actual activity 
that the students can do and work on. Uh, if we go back here, this one, design a poster, design a neighborhood map using geometry concepts. So this is something maybe y'all can do on your smart board as well, or your students can do, you can provide them a template inside of Google Draw, and then they're able to go in and drag and drop the different shapes that you have available for them if they're designing the city of Robinson that they live in. So this is a pretty uh, awesome way too for them to be able to utilize that as well. So I really like that uh, different aspect of the Adobe Education Exchange. Like I said, there's tons of different posters, tons of different things that they can make uh, and tons of different lessons that are pre-made and ready to go. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, the next you know, weeks and just kind of highlight one lesson at a time, just kind of going through, but I kind of wanted to uh, give you an idea of here's something that's available for you to help boost that creativity that's in your classroom uh, that you can access and there's lessons ready to go right there for you. So remember, if you need any help in diving into the Adobe Education Exchange site, like I said, these lessons are available for you 24 seven. They're really easy, really fun to, and simple to help bring that creativity into your classroom. Please hit us up at curriculum at robinson.k12.tx.us and we will be more than happy to come out and help you inspire and infuse that creativity into your classroom. So like I said, let us know. Thank you very much. Be sure to like and subscribe. That way you'll be notified for new curriculum integration tips of the week that are coming out here pretty soon. All right. Thank you all very much. And we'll catch you in the next one.